This is the village of Zizin, a multi-ethnic community made up from Romanians, uh, Hungarians and Gypsies. Although there are many needs, especially in the Gypsy community, the greatest need is by far the Gospel. If the Gospel will touch their lives, the whole structure of life will be transformed. By God's grace, God sent us here and we believe that the Lord will transform many lives in the following years. Four years ago, our brother Alex Palade came to the village of Zizin as a lady and her son that had a disability came to know the Lord. So the Lord set on our, our hearts the desire to preach the gospel in this village. Eva is a widow. He cares for Lotzi, her son, that he has a disability. Și ei uh, au crezut în Domnul Isus Hristos. And they believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Și s-au întors la Dumnezeu. And came to follow the Lord. Și uh, l-au urmat pe Domnul la botezul. And they decided to be baptized. A fost primul rod. This was the first fruit of the ministry here. Așa că aici în Zizin am avut primul botez. So we had our first baptism here in the village of Zizin. Și au venit și alte persoane de aici din There sat. was a big crowd that came for that. Event. So the Lord encouraged us to continue and preach the gospel. More souls came to know the Lord. So the Lord proved by that that He has people in this village. The Lord led Alex to come here and he prayed and he wanted to establish a church. To him, Emmanuel joined and together they started spreading the gospel in the village, going on the streets, talking to people and more and more people began to come and they, they realized there is a work from the Lord. So they began to meet in houses. <laughs> It was quite difficult because all the houses here are quite small and people could not come to attend. So they began to pray for a place and the Lord responded. Alex and Emmanuel served for about two years in Zizin. There was a great need for a place, for a building. We began to pray and God answers prayers, sometimes through people. And here is the answer the Lord gave through Brother Scott Larson. Brother Scott, can you tell us how you came in the picture? I uh, represent um, our son's foundation and it's um, put on by his business and um, we are working with HeartCry on whatever projects that they may uh, deem necessary. And this project came up. We put it in front of our eight grandchildren who basically are part of our board. And they decided that this was something that God wanted us to do, and so we did. And we are so grateful, thankful to all those who came to join and support this project. Today, 
is the grand opening of this new building. And we are so grateful to the Lord for accomplishing this for His kingdom. It was such a blessing. The Lord has been here with His presence, with His love. He blessed all of us. And I believe somebody was saved tonight. I have that conviction. I'm very happy that we as a church plant this church. Thank you for praying for us and for your love and support for us. Thank you. It was so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for everything you do. Oh, yeah.